Welcome to the Old Boar's Mini Builds. These are beginner tutorials on detailing using mods. In this video, I'll be showing you how to detail in layers. You'll also learn the basics of several other mods needed for detailing. But first, I need to put in some basic services. When using the 81 Tiles 2 mod, connect your water and sewage to a road. Then they'll come in automatically if you've selected those in the settings. Let's talk about detailing in layers. I have eight layers that I use. Placing hills, streets, houses, regional trees. In this video, I'll be placing large grass, human planted foliage, rocks and props, and what I call mini scenes. In this layer, I'll be putting in mountain grass by Padelmo. It's an older asset that has no LOD. LOD stands for Level of Detail. Basically it means if you zoom in close, one variant of the asset appears. When you zoom out, another appears. With an LOD, the asset will still look fairly good zoomed out. It can also mean that you'll get better FPS when zoomed out. FPS stands for frames per second. When you zoom far out, you'll be seeing more of the mountain grass assets in your frame. I like the older version of mountain grass, but I'll try out the new one in a later video to see if I like it better. It's what the asset creator suggests. I'm also adding a little bit of the forest patch asset here and there in this layer. You can get super detailed in these areas if you like when you're in the mini scene layer. You could create a mini scene in the entire neighborhood. It all depends on how detailed you want to get. I'll keep my layers simple for the purpose of introducing you to the mods and the concepts. I'm just looking for little open patches I think will be seen when I'm down on the street level. It makes the patch of forest look a little more real. Here comes our first sims. Rosemary Thompson is our first sim. Let's see where she goes. I always like to watch the first sims come into my city. It's a thing only us Skyliners would understand. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. These are really nice house assets. Try taking some time to enjoy your city. I have a special brush in my Forest Brush Revisited mod. I named it Tree Grass. I'm lowering down the probability of one of these grass assets. I don't want it coming in as much. It's what I use for layer 6, Human Planted Foliage. Once I've plopped these down, this is where I'm going to use the Move It mod. Click the icon. Highlight the asset you want, and move it. It's that simple. Next, I'll use the Tree Control mod. Notice that when I move the tree close to the house, it disappears. Pressing Alt-A turns Tree Anarchy on. 
Now I could move the trees and these smaller grass patches over the base of the house. Very handy. I usually turn it off when not needing it so that I don't place trees from forest brush over houses and roads. I'm really liking the vanilla vehicle overhaul pack. And notice my street doesn't have mailboxes and fire hydrants. Use the loading screen revisited mods skip text file to remove those and any other unwanted assets that you don't want appearing in your game. Like the vanilla vehicles. Place this list inside your skip text file and they're gone. I have a little video on how to do that. I like how the forest brush puts down a random set of props. You never know what you're going to get, so I just work with it. I like to put trees on the corner of streets. So now let's do a mini scene. This is where I'll use the prop control mod. Put your brush size down to a single. These are rock props. These are terrain conforming props, meaning that they'll conform to these little hills. This large rock cluster is too big, so use the comma key to make it smaller. The prop control mod is doing this. It works with tree control as well. Above the tree anarchy indicator is the prop anarchy indicator, which is your prop control mod. To turn this on and off, press control P. This little grass tuft is not train conforming. You can see the shadow under this asset. Sometimes the Steam Workshop asset page will tell you if, if the prop is terrain conforming or not. It takes time to get to know your group of assets you've chosen. That's part of the enjoyment of it. I put these little mini scenes in areas that I think I'll be seeing a lot. Some of these are not terrain conforming. When assets aren't terrain conforming, sometimes I just try to make them work into the scene.
So now let's add a little more detail around the elementary school. This is where we'll need to use the line control mod. I just placed a single instance of the purple garden ground cover asset. Every time you select a prop, this group of icons appears. The single selection is currently on. The line control mod does much more, but for now, we'll learn the first two icons, the single selection icon and the line icon. So select the line icon, click and start stretching out your props. They're spaced too far apart, so change the spacing. Adjust the number until you get what you want. You might have to get directly above your area to make your line straight. You can click again and start another line. So you've learned a little bit about layering your detailing, the move it mod, the tree control mod, the prop control mod, and the line control mod. You've got a good start on your way to detailing your city with mods. So thank you for watching The Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.